sinoatrial exit block occurs as a result of disorder with the delivery of impulses from the sinus node to atria tissue. Let's quickly remind how sinus node works. The sinus node located within the right atrium, near to the opening of superior vena cava. Sinus node consists of two types of cells. First type is pacemaker cells or P cells, which are located in the central region of the anatomical node. It is a cluster of synchronous pacemaker cells that are responsible for initiating the automatic sinus impulses that propagate out of the node into atria tissue. The cells have typical pacemaker action potential. The amplitude of sinus node depolarization is very small, therefore it can't be detected by routine ACG examination. The second type of cell is transitional cells, or T cells, which propagate impulse from the central pacemaker cells to atrium tissue. T cells are main element of conduction impulses between P cells and atria tissue. So problem with T cells defines problem of conduction from the sinus node to atria that we call sinoatrial exit block. Sinoatrial exit block can be divided into the first, second and third degrees analogous to those occurring at the atrioventricular node. The first degree of sinoatrial block is characterized by prolongation of sinoatrial conduction time through the T cells without dropping the PQRST. When the impulse from the sinus node reaches the atria, on ACG we see it as P wave. But depolarization of sinus node itself can't be detected by routine ACG due to very low amplitude of sinus node depolarization. As a result, first degree sinoatrial block also can't be detected by routine ACG. It can be only detected by electrophysiology study, when by the catheterization of the heart we can record ACG directly from the sinus node and detect its depolarization as start point and P wave as finish point. As a result, in this case we can evaluate conduction time through the T cells. The second degree exit block is represented by dropping PQRST, also is further classified into type 1 and type 2, just like AV block classification. Second degree of sinoatrial block type 1 is characterized by Winkenbach conduction. It means the progressive lengthening of the conduction time through the T cells until the situation when the sinus impulse is not conducted to the atria and PQRST is dropped. After the drop, the conduction properties of T-cells are restored and all cycle repeats. We know that sinus node depolarization can be detected by ACG, but for understanding, let's mark it by the blue arrows. So we see that sinus node regularly makes impulses. As a result, distance between arrow and P-wave is conduction time between the sinus node and atria tissue. For second degree SA block type 1, this distance should increase from bit to bit until the drop. The key features of Winkenbach conduction is that the lengthening of the conduction time is not uniform. As a result, maximal lengthening of sinoatrial conduction time occurs in second PQRST complex, as we see a triple increasing of conduction time in second complex compared to the first one. Further after second complex has smaller gain of sinoatrial conduction time compared to the second one. After this sinus impulses was blocked and on ACG we have a drop of PQRST that cause pause. After the pause conduction properties of T cells are restored and we again see normal conduction time in first complex after the pause. And after this cycle repeats with maximal gain of conduction time in the second impulse of the cycle. This specific feature makes PP interval shorter from bit to bit until the drop. First PP interval is 1.2 second, whereas the second PP interval is 1.1 second. The first criteria of second degree sinoatrial exit block type 1 is progressive shortening of PP intervals before the pause. That caused by Winkenbach conduction when the maximal gain of conduction time in the second complex makes PP interval greater than the next one when the gain is still present 
but not maximal. The PP interval after the pause should be bigger than PP interval before the pause, due to Winkenbach conduction. In our case is 1.2 second. So the second ACG criteria of second degree SA block type 1 is that the PP interval after the pause is larger than PP interval just before the pause. Now let's measure the pause duration and compare it to the previous PP interval. In this case is 1.7 second, that is smaller than two previous PP interval. So the third criteria is that the pause is smaller than two previous PP interval. Let's see the real ACG example. We see sinus irregular rhythm and pause in the middle of the ACG streak. Let's check the first criteria, progressive PP shortening. And the first PP interval is 1140 milliseconds. The next one is 860 milliseconds. As a result, we verify the first criteria. Let's check PP interval after the pause. That is 1400 milliseconds, which is bigger than last PP interval before the pause. So we verify the second criteria. And finally, let's check the pause duration which is 1460 millisecond, which is smaller than two previous PP interval. Therefore, we verify the last criteria of second degree as A block type 1. Unlike the second degree block type 1, in type 2 there are no progressive lengthening of sinoatrial conduction time. In type 2 as A block we have a rapid drop of PQRST complexes without any problem with sinoatrial conduction before the drop and after the drop. The blue arrow points the sinus impulses. So in first two complexes we have normal conduction time from the sinus node to atria. And after this we have a dropped PQRST due to block of impulses in T cells. During the pause the conduction between the sinus node and atria tissue is restored and the next sinus impulse is normally conducted. Now let's measure the sinus pulse, which is 2 second, and compare it to previous PP interval. As a result, the sinus pause is equal to distance of previous PP interval. If it's twice bigger than previous PP interval, it means that we have a block of one sinus impulse. The first criteria of second degree as A block type 2 is rapid sinus pause that is equal to multiply previous PP interval. Also, we can characterize severity of exit block type 2 by comparing number of expected sinus impulses and conducted sinus impulses that is indicated as P wave. In our example, there are three sinus impulses, two conducted as P wave and one blocked as pause. So, expected number of sinus impulses is 3, thus conducted is 2. So, this is second degree sinoatrial exit block type 2 with conduction 3 to 2. Let's go to real examples. We see the first two complexes with normal P wave and after this two complexes without P wave. And in the last complex P arise again. It means that in the middle of the ACG strip there are no sinus complexes. This is sinus pause. The duration of pause is 3300 milliseconds. The previous PP interval is 1150. As a result, sinus pause is 3 times bigger than previous PP. If pause is 3 times bigger, it means there are two sinus impulses that was blocked. Now look at this neural QRS without P wave. This is escape avinodal complexes that arise as Latin pacemaker activation during the sinus pulse. Important to say that permanent second degree sinoatrial exit block type 2 with conduction 2 to 1 can imitate severe sinus bradycardia. On the top ECG scheme, 
we see second degree as A block with conduction 2 to 1. When every second impulse is blocked. In the lower ECG we see severe sinus bradycardia. The difference here is in PQ intervals. In case of severe sinus bradycardia, PQ interval is near to the upper limit. But in case of permanent sinoatrial block with conduction 2 to 1, PQ interval is relatively shorter. Third degree SA exit block is characterized by absence of conduction between the sinus node and atria tissue. In first complex we see normal conduction and after this sinus pause occurs. During the sinus pause, latent pacemakers are activated and start to pace the heart. As a result, in case of third degree SA block, the sinus pulse isn't equal to multiply distance of previous PP interval. In this case, P cells keep generate the impulses, but all of these impulses are blocked. The ACG picture of third degree SA block is similar to sinus arrest. And these two conditions are indistinguishable by ACG. But in case of sinus arrest, pause is caused by absence of sinus node depolarization. Thus, in case of third degree as A block, sinus node produces the impulses. But because of exit block, impulses can't leave the sinus node and conduct to the atria. This two disorder also can be distinguished only by electrophysiology study. If you like the content, press like, subscribe to our Telegram and YouTube channel. Have a good day!